Hey, boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today is December 31st. That's right, it's New Year's Eve. Guys, don't go out and become a statistic. Please play it safe tonight so you can come back and enjoy what I'm going to have next year for y'all. Okay, I've had a few people call me or write me or what have you, and they want to know, how, the, how I clean track, okay? Now, as we all know, there's a hundred million ways of doing it, and I'm one of these guys, I don't like to take time to clean the track, but, it, but it's a necessity, okay? Especially when you use stuff like Rail Zip and Goo Gone and stuff like that to clean the wheels. Believe it or not, it does spread throughout the entire track. Now, I'll show you uh, an example here of how dirty this track is. Now, when I laid this, it was all sanded perfectly dry and clean. But now watch. Okay, here's my finger. See that? Yucky. Cockaroony. Okay, so here's what I do. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this down for a second. Okay. I took one of my bobber cabooses like this, and I made this little unit right here, okay? It's just a piece of wood with a scratch pad stapled to it. I put a piece of steel weight on it, put a couple washers in it. Then I drilled the hole right in the center of this. So this fits right in there like this, okay? And it can float. See how it can float? But it can't go nowhere like that. That's all it can do. Okay, now I'm going to show you. If I get this on here. Okay, now watch how easy this rolls. See, it rolls fairly easy, okay? But when you put this on there, it does have resistance. So I'm going to tell you, don't put this behind... Uh, a train with a hundred cars or anything because you're just going to really bog it down. Just find a locomotive and just pull it individually. But I mean, it still moves, okay? But if you take this car and just make a half a dozen trips all the way around your layout, you'll find that your track will become clean. Now, it doesn't work so well on switches because of these things right here. They catch the scratch pad. So you're pretty much going to have to do those manually, you know, and that's not that big of a deal, and that's not asking too much, okay? Now, that's how I clean the track. Now, uh, another thing I do is... You could use Goo Gone, WD-40, 556, uh, electrical top contact cleaner, just about anything. I mean, you could even use Dawn because Dawn is an oil buster. And you just put it on a rag and you could wipe it down, you know, and you'll get it. But you do have, a lot of you do have places where you've got mountains that you can't get into. That's where this little idea comes in pretty good, okay? Now, if you want the ultimate, there's uh, an outfit called Reindeer Pass out of Des Moines. They're very big into G-Scale, very good people, very good prices. They have one that has a motor on it. And I don't know how many trips around your layout it has to do before your track is clean, but uh, it does an excellent job. But you're going to pay about 150 bucks for it too, okay? But this right here cost me like a buck, Okay. Cheapy me, cheapy me. So this is a dollar. So at the most, at the most, okay? Because when you buy those in a pack, you get like six of them for three bucks. So that's like 50 cents, okay? And then the, the washers, you know, a dime, a quarter, whatever, whatever, okay. All right, the next thing I want to show you is uh, I'm going to uh, shut this off and go in the other room, and I'm going to show you how I clean uh, my locomotives, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, now here's a uh, little uh, 242. I'm going to show how to clean the uh, axles on the, the way I do it, okay? Uh, now remember, there's not a locomotive out there that has a single like this. There's always at least two of them. So this is what I do. Now, now I'm going to set this down over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, now what I do... Is I took a piece of track because it's perfect in length and I cut it like that and I hooked it to my transformer 
Okay, you don't need a big transformer and you don't need to go a million miles an hour. And all you need to do is just touch these and you can see that they take off. Once, the, once you got them good, just put a light piece of toilet paper on there and you could clean each wheel at a time. Now, see how much dirt I got off there? Not much. So th this one isn't that dirty. So you can just continue to take the oil off of it. You know, let it spin a few times. There. Okay, and then reverse yourself. Put your, put your track on the front side. And clean both wheels at, at, this, at that time. Okay, very simple. You know, it's real easy. Uh, you can see that, you know, I got a little bit off, but this one's not bad. Some of them have just got that black gick, you know, that, that just really makes a barrier between your electricity and the actual wheels. Now, as far as these pilot wheels and things like that go, eh, you're kind of on your own. You got to do it by yourself, you know. They, they spin, so I just, you know, go like this and... As I spin, I don't push hard, you know, it'll wipe off easy. And then you just go like this and you clean your pilot wheels and you, you get them all clean, okay? So anyway, this is the way I clean track, clean my locomotive. I do my cars this way as well. And, you know, you got to do this once in a while because after a while you just build up so much... Uh, uh, crap and barrier on your track now this is only if you've got analog type like I do I run both analog and battery but if you got battery this this is all gone to the wayside man you don't have to do any of this because the battery doesn't require this okay it's a totally different setup but this is just if you got track power indoors outdoors don't make no difference but anyway I just wanted to show you a couple basic ideas for this and uh, pretty much that's it you got any questions anything feel free to call me if you like leave a like if you want to subscribe please subscribe but in the meantime this is Larry over and out.